short tutorial video about using S parameter files in ADS focuses on two aspects of S parameters. Number one, how to export S parameter files from ADS S parameter simulations so that it can be ported to other applications. The second aspect of this video will talk about how to bring S parameter files inside ADS for further simulation and analysis in ADS. Those S parameter files can well be from measurements or some other softwares which, which might be used in order to perform S parameter analysis. Enjoy watching the video. Now let's turn our attentions to ADS where I have the sample circuit for which I would like to export the S parameter files from the simulation so that it can be taken to some other application software or other documentation purposes. When we perform any S parameter simulation in ADS, we have a data set produced by ADS simulations. So this example shows a typical low pass filter kind of behavior circuit and we would like to export the S parameter for this circuit. To export S parameters, one can use the data file tool capability of ADS by clicking on it it will bring out a dialog box which allows us to either read in data into a particular data set or write a data file from the data set as shown here in this case we would like to write a data file from our data set of simulation we can select the option of write data file if you go around the file format we can export variety of file formats but the most common file format for S parameter file is touchstone. We can give the output file name in the desired location where we would like to export this file or we can simply give this file a name and by default this file will be copied under data directory of the project. So I'm giving a file name demo underscore S param dot S2P. Now often S parameter file is referred as S2P file this simply means two port S parameter files. So S parameter file and S2P is one and the same thing. A common file format is denoted by SNP where N is the number of ports contained in the S parameter file format. This export option also allows people to choose in which data format we would like to export the file. It could be magnitude and angle, DB angle or real imaginary. Once the file is written, it will use appropriate header information for enabling other software or applications to understand how to interpret the exported S parameters from ADS. In frequency units, we can use the units as used in our simulation or a common understanding format. Right now, we are going to use megahertz as our simulation started from 0 0.01 megahertz to 500 megahertz. We can select the data set name for which we have to export the S parameter file. So in our case, we have generate S2P files dataset. Please note S parameter file can only be exported after we have performed an S parameter simulation in ADS. Once we are through with this, we can click right to file, which will highlight the status window messages. So we can click on right to file and we can see it is indicating the file write was successful. In case we have done some wrong things either in simulation or selecting the data set, this will issue an appropriate message as may be noted. So right now we have file which is exported in our data directory format. And this also gives you the directory structure where the S parameter file was kept. And as indicated earlier, it will be inside the project file, data directory and the file name with the extension as we have provided. Now this file can be taken to other applications and can be used seamlessly provided the other application software understand the nominal touchstone file format. In the second part of this video, let's close all of these. The second part of this video will talk about how can we import S parameter file or how can we bring in S parameter file from either some other simulations or by using measurements. So on this schematic, I have kept two terminations, an S parameter controller and a data display template. Now here, in order to bring S parameter file, designers can go to directory, which is called as data items. 
In data items, we have the placeholders for S parameters. By default, data items provide S parameter file components up to 10 ports. If there are more ports needed in S parameter file, one can go to library, which allows much higher number of ports to be included inside simulation. For our present case, we would like to import the same S parameter files which we have exported in the last experiment. For this, we know it's a two port S parameter file. So I can pick a symbol of S2P file here and insert on my schematic. Each S parameter file component will always have a reference component which can be easily grounded and it's only for reference. Now to link this component placeholder to the file, we can double click on this component and we can browse to the file. So by default, it will go to my data subdirectory inside the project and I can select the S2P file, which is included. At this point of time, we can also click on edit button to see the contents of S parameter files. So if we click on edit, we can see it displays a notepad or, or word editor window, which outlines the header information. So if you may recall, we opted to export S parameter file in magnitude and angle format. Uh, R is the load termination register and it is indicating is 50 ohm. And the units of frequency is being indicated into megahertz. So right now we can see we are having the complex S parameter file data in, in the format as indicated in the header. So first column is frequency, second column magnitude of S11, angle of S11, magnitude of S21 angle and S12 magnitude and angle and finally S22 magnitude and angle. So all in all for two port S parameter files we will have nine columns as displayed here. And we know it is proceeding from 0 0.01 megahertz right up to 500 megahertz for which we have performed the simulation in the last experiment. Yeah. Now while importing S parameter file it is also possible to set the interpolation method and interpolation domain. Right now we don't need to do it. We will just go ahead and select the default settings as may be the case. So once we click OK, we can see now this placeholder is linked to a particular S2P file as indicated. We are now ready to simulate this design. And if we need, we can add in extra components on top of this S parameter file as may be needed in the design process. For this example, once we simulate, we should see a similar data as in previous case because we are just reading the file as we have exported from the last video demonstration. Hope this gives you an idea how to export and bring in the S parameter files into ADS for further design purposes. Thanks for your attention and have a nice day.